Welcome to your practice. Let's start in child's pose. So bring the knees wide, toes together, big toes can touch, and forehead to the mat for child's pose. Letting the belly just rest, a relaxed position, knees as wide as you want, hips towards the heels, arms long, let the forearms, the elbows touch the mat, and just sink the third eye into the earth, finding your groundedness. And start to take some big, smooth, slow, full breaths in and out. Maybe the exhales are out the mouth to start. Just sighing, releasing, letting go. And then maybe you want to cultivate the in and the out breath through the nose with a little constriction in the back of the throat for that yogic ujjayi breath. Imagine you could hear anyone else practicing in the room or across the country or state or universe next to you, their breath supporting your breath as you breathe a little deeper, a little fuller. And you can always choose your own intention, something you want to work on or focus on, but I'll offer one kind of around seasons and cycles of change. So your daily word says, what is now will soon be past. Just because you do it doesn't mean you always will. Whether you're dancing dust or breathing light, you're never exactly the same twice. So remembering that throughout this practice, that each breath, is a brand new breath and the same breath will never happen again. This moment will never happen again. And you can choose to come back to this posture of child's pose whenever you want throughout the practice, or you can choose to challenge yourself and push yourself, but only you know, and your body knows what feels right today. Option to modify however you like, as I suggest lots of shapes throughout the practice, but just maintain this breath to slow down the heart rate. Two more big full cycles of breath here. And then begin to tent the fingertips to engage the arms, forearms and elbows lift off the earth and crawl the fingers all the way over to the left. Walk them off the mat, reach them away from each other over to the left and reach the right hip back to the right. Draw all the energy through the right side body up to the right pinky finger, big breath in, big breath out. And then spider crawl those fingers all the way through center. Take your time, walk them to the right. And how far can you reach and grow through the left side body now, breathing into the intercostal muscles, feeling the ribs fill with breath, the lungs inhale. And exhale. And then crawl the hands back to center. Let the elbows come down again. Press the palms together and lift the forearms off the earth, kind of like you're making a little shark fin palms over the head, pressing together, feeling the triceps, the shoulders release in a different way. And then release the forearms down. Interlace the fingers and keep this little tripod grip and pull yourself up. So your fists and your elbows are like a little triangle. Start to circle your hips around, going a little to the left, a little to the right, full circle or semi-circles. And then spread the fingers wide and plant the palms. Draw the knees under the hips. So you're in a variation of tabletop with sphinx arms. Arms are like the number 11, index fingers point forward, spread the fingers wide, and then just draw the space between the shoulder blades up. So lift up through the scapula and then draw the heart, the chest down. So it's kind of like a variation of a push up. just the upper back is working. You can see how my back is doming, press like a balloon, and then let it release. Two more like that. Like a little heart push up, it melts and then it domes. And then from here, neutralize the spine, press into the fingers and draw the elbows up. See if you can lift them up at the same time. Tabletop. 
And then see if you can lower the arms down at the same time, keeping the elbows in line with the wrists. Different variation of a push-up. Inhale, pull the elbows up. Exhale, slowly lower them down, but don't let them splay out. That's the tendency. Working the shoulders, the triceps. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, with control, lower. Try that a couple more times. Maybe you have to go one elbow, then the other, but if you can, try to move them at the same time together. Next time your arms are lowered, keep the hips and the knees in line, that 90 degree angle. Just walk the arms forward, tent the fingers, forehead or chin can come to the mat for puppy pose, a variation of child. Maybe you sway the head a little bit, the hips a little bit, walk the arms a little further forward. And then begin to draw the hands back. Walk them under the shoulder blades and take some side cat cow. So bump the hips to the right, look over your right shoulder. Bump the hips to the left, look over your left shoulder. Continue like that. And start to make your way to a neutral tabletop position. Extend the right leg back, keep the toes on the earth, and just shift the weight, stretching the calf muscles. Strong through the shoulders, keeping the shoulders square, spreading the fingers wide. And then pause, lift the right leg, bend the knee, like you're stomping your heel, your foot on the ceiling, just little pulses a little higher, feeling the glutes engage and work. Nice, keep the belly strong, the core is working too. For three, for two, for one. Then tap the right knee towards the left and then extend the leg. So just tap and extend. Tap the knee down and press the heel long. Lengthen the leg and tap. Two more. One more. This time, knee to knee, and then the knee goes out wide. So tap the right knee towards the left. And then open out to the right, opening up the hips here. Keep breathing. All right, knee to knee, extend the right leg back, draw the right knee towards the right elbow this time, shoot the right leg hot, long. Two more, right knee towards the right elbow, shoot the right leg long. This time, right knee outside the right elbow, step the right foot outside the right hand, and tent your fingers if you want, or hands could be on blocks. Move with that space. A little forward back, little side to side, little circles. Let the head and the neck release. Move the tongue and the jaw around. A variation of lizard, just opening up the hips, a dynamic lizard. Okay, when you're ready, find stillness from here. Plant the left palm and peel the right arm open for a twist. Lean back with the heart. See if you can draw your right elbow almost down to the right knee or um, even to the ankle and then open back up. Twice more like that. Right elbow down towards the right foot. Inhale, expand. One more time. Right elbow down, reach open. And then right hand comes down, right knee comes down, and move through side cat cow, traditional cat cow. Any kind of movement from hands and knees that will help the spine release, the neck release, the core release. Couple more breaths. Start to find a neutral tabletop when you're ready. Tap out the feet, shake out the wrists. One hand, lift the other. 
And then let's move to the left leg. Left leg goes back, toes stay on the ground. Left leg is straight. And then just shifting the weight a little forward and back to go deeper into the calf stretch. Hips and shoulders stay squared. Find your breath. And as you're ready, pause, lift the left heel off the earth, tap the left knee down, the left knee bends, and then extend. Keep going. Bring the belly button draw towards the spine so you're not sagging in the back with the core being engaged. And then keep the left knee bent. Flatten the foot as if you're stomping the ceiling and then just like you're using your heel to poke a little hole in the ceiling. Just lift a little bit, feeling the glutes engage. Small lift, pulsing up for four, for three, for two, for one. And then we take it wide. So the left knee comes down by the right and then you open up. Twice more, open the left leg up to the left. The next time the left foot comes down, extend the left leg long. This time, draw the left knee to the left elbow, crunch, squeeze it in as far forward as you can, and lift it back. One more crunch and squeeze. Extend the left heel back. This time, pull it forward, left foot outside the left hand. Step it forward, and just tent your fingers to give yourself some space to move into the hips here. The head can release. When you're ready, find stillness. Plant the right palm and open the left arm up to the ceiling. Roll the left shoulder back, spread through the left fingers. The head and the neck can release here as well. Left elbow comes down along the, the calf, almost down to the ankle, and then inhale, open back up. Twice more, bend the elbow, come inside your left foot, and open it back up. One more time. Inhale, open. Left hand down, left knee back, tabletop, cat cow, any kind of movement from hands and knees. Hula hooping the spine or undulating the spine, moving the neck and again the jaw around, maybe fluttering the lips. And start to make your way to a neutral tabletop again. Spread the fingers wide. Tuck the toes, lift and hover the knees so you're in a box shape. And then step the right foot back, step the left foot back, step the right knee in, step the left knee in, pausing in your hovering table. Just tap the knees at the same time and lift them back up. Left leg back, right leg back, plank. Left knee in, hover the shin, right knee in. Tap the knees to the earth, lift them back up. Again, right leg, left leg, right knee bend, left knee bend. Tap the knees, you can stay here longer if you need, lift the knees. Left leg long, right leg long, left knee bend, right knee bends. Tap the knees. If you want, pop the feet back, pop the feet in. One or two more times, stepping or hopping with the little knee tap at center. Next time, you're with the knees down, keep them there. Walk the hands forward again, puppy pose. Let the belly release. And then walk your hands back to your knees, hips towards your heels, having a little seat. 
Roll the shoulders up, back, and down a couple times. Use your breath to inhale, lift the shoulders up. Squeeze them back and down on the exhale. And then have a seat, extend the legs out, knees bent here, feet about uh, hip width distance. Fingers can face wide or they can face in. We're going to take a reverse tabletop. So spread the fingers, inhale, lift the hips. Head can stay in line with the neck or release it back if that feels okay. Lift the thighs, lift the hips. Opening the heart, the throat. One more big breath in. Exhale, lower the seats. Walk your arms over your legs. So just drape yourself, chest along the thighs, head heavy. Maybe you move your head a little to the side, a little up and down. And either do that again, or we can take reverse uh, plank. So legs long, heels down. Fingers to the glutes or out wide, whatever feels more supportive. Inhale, lift the hips. Head goes back or keep it in line with the spine. Hips stay lifted. One more cycle of breath. And then lower the hips. Knees can be bent a lot or a little or keep them straight this time and walk the hands down the leg for a variation of a forward fold. You could have a big bend to the knees still or a slightly smaller bend. Letting the back release. Maybe move the neck around here gently in the jaw. One more big breath. And then slowly roll yourself up. Bend the knees out wide. Bring the soles of the feet together. Butterfly. Hands to the shins to lengthen the spine. And then just rock your legs a little. Fly your butterfly. Feeling the hips release. When you're ready, close the legs like a book. Roll yourself onto your back. We have a little bit more core before we move into some sun salutation. So we did some kind of belly down core with those plank walks. And now we're gonna do a similar thing from here. So knees to 90 degrees, press the palms into the thighs and feel the thighs pressing back into the palms. Head, neck and shoulders can stay on the mat. Flex the feet, press the ball of the feet away. You could lift the head, neck and shoulders or you could keep it lowered. You can stay here or we'll add on, extend the right arm and the right leg. Reach away from each other. Inhale, back together. Feel the connection of the palm into the thigh, lower back pressing into the mat. Left arm over the ear, left leg away from you. Inhale, come back to center, press the palm, feel the connection, feel the resistance. Right arm moves, right leg moves. Inhale, back to center, tuck the tailbone to the lower back, pressing into the mat, left arm extends, left leg reaches. Connect palm to knee, uh, thigh, thigh to palm. One more time on each side, move slowly. You can take a break if you need. Right side, then left side. Then come back to center and give yourself a hug. Squeeze the knees in. Rock on the sacrum. Take a big full body stretch. Reach through the fingers. Reach through the toes. Inhale. Maybe if a flutter the lips or audibly exhale. How? Sigh. Let it go. Knees back to the chest. Either just roll to the right side and press yourself up and back to down dog. Or you can start rocking and rolling. Actually, let's meet in a forward fold. So you can press yourself into a forward fold. Or you can find the momentum to rock yourself into standing forward fold. Feet about hip width distance. Bend the knees as generously as you need. Let the head be heavy. Hands to the floor. 
Take a halfway lift, lengthen the spine, hands to the legs. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Root to rise to stand, press through the feet, inhale, arms up, press the palms above you, pull them to your heart. Stand tall, inhale, eyes closed. Exhale. We'll go through three sun salutations. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, hinge to fold. Forearm dive over the legs, half lift. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Option to lower knees, chest and chin, or go through your chaturanga, any kind of vinyasa. Lowering and then up dog, cobra, big heart opener, into downward facing dog. For this first one, let's walk to the top. So tiptoe, feet to hands. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Press the palms, pull them to your heart. Just pause for a moment. And when you're ready to start your second round, you can go with me or go with your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step, or if you're hopping gently, bend elbows. Cobra or upward facing dog. Take your time through the transition. Down dog when you're ready. No rush to get there. When you're ready for the next round, you can walk or bend the knees and on your exhale, hop to the top of the mat, land softly. Halfway lift, extend the heart forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, press the palms, pull them to your heart. Next, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Half lift, step or hop back. Take your time traveling through your flow. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog, no rush to arrive there. Take two full breaths in down dog when you reach the posture. Exhale, inhale, and exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach the right leg high, bend the knee, open up the hip, scorpion dog, shake it out. Open the hips, kick the heel, roll the ankle, circle the knee. And then re-extend the right leg high. Shift forward to like a three-legged plank, so the right foot is hovering, and then draw the right knee to the right elbow, extend it back. Again, right knee, right elbow, extend the right leg long. Right knee, right elbow, step it outside the right hand. We've been here before. You could lower your back knee for a lizard, or you could keep it lifted, and just find a little bit of movement, a little bit of space. The left hand is gonna stay planted, the right hand can even gently open up the hips more, right hand to thigh. And then find some stillness. Left hand plants, open up the right arm to the sky. This time, thread the needle, right arm under the left, reach it under the left, look back. Inhale, open high. Again, reach the right arm under the left armpit, open up high. This time we're gonna travel to the left. So reach the left arm. You're gonna spin the heels down, toes towards the side of your mat and bend into your left knee for a side lunge. Hands could be on the floor, hands could be at heart. Right hand could stay down and now you could open the left arm up for a twist. Bring your hands back to center, and then rise up into star. So the hips are, feet are wide, heels down, toes facing wide, and then bend back into your lunge, left knee bend. Inhale, expand to star, arms wide. Maybe hands together, prayer hands, press, bend the left knee, open, keep going. You can stay in one posture, you can hold it a little longer. Next time you're in star, stay there. 
hands to the hips, turn the right toes forward, open up the arms wide and find your warrior two. Right knees bent, shoulders over the hips, arms spreading wide. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths, check your foundation. Check are the shoulders over the hips, are the arms spreading wide, where's the back arm? Two more steady breaths. Stay low in the lunge. On your next inhale, flip the front palm, reach forward and back, reverse, stay with the lunge. Left hand knee down the left leg or wrap around the front arm. Two more breaths here. And then cartwheel the hands down to frame the front foot. Runner's lunge. Step the right foot back to meet the left and travel through your vinyasa or press to down dog or move through child's pose. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, left heel high, bend the knee, open up the hip, shake out the left leg, circle the knee, the hip, the ankle. And then plugging strong through left and right hand, re-extend the left heel high. Shift shoulders over the wrists, three-legged plank. Draw the left knee to the left elbow, and extend the left leg long. Left knee, left elbow. Shoot the left heel back. Coming into lizard, step the left foot out by the left hand. Maybe lower your back knee or keep the thigh, the leg straight and lifted. And just move it around first. Find a little bit of movement in this lizard pose. You can plant the right palm, the heel of the hand down and Use the left hand to open the left hip a little more. Left hand to the inner left thigh. Find stillness. And then extend the left arm high. Reach the left arm under the right. Look back at your hand. Inhale, lift high. Twice more, thread the left arm under the right. Inhale, reach it back to the ceiling. This time we're gonna to travel to the back of the mat. So left arm under the right, bend the feet, shift the weight, right knee bends, left leg is straight. So your back knee is bending. Hands can come to heart or hands can be on the floor. Left hand can stay down and open up the right arm for a twist. Right hand down, lift and hover the hands. Press into the feet, rise up to star pose. Arms wide, feet wide. And then bend back into that side lunge, right knee bends. Inhale, expand. Exhale, bend the right knee, hands to heart. Keep going with your breath. Next time you find yourself in star, stay there. And bring the hands to the hips, turn the left toes forward, take a wide stance, open the arms and find your warrior two stance. Big wide stance. Check your feet, your ankles, your knees, hips, shoulders, relax the face. You can gaze over the left hand or just look in front of you. And we stay, come back to the breath, come back to your intention. You'll never be in the same exact place twice. 
Stay with it as we hold a few more breaths. Strong through the back foot, strong through the front foot. One more inhale. Stay with the legs, flip, flip the front palm, reach forward and reverse. Left knee stays bent over the left ankle, reach up and back through the left side body. One more big breath in. Cartwheel the hands, frame the left foot, lift the right heel. Plant the palm, step the left foot back, travel through your flow of choice. And when you reach down dog, let's take two full cleansing breaths. Exhale, inhale, exhale, let it go. Look to your hands. We're going to come into a squat, Malasana. You can step right foot outside, right hand, left foot outside, left hand, or bend the knees. On your exhale, gently hop feet outside the hands. Heels can be lowered or lifted. Press the palms together and use the elbows into the inner thighs to lift the heart, lift the chest. Hips are low, heart is lifted. Crown of head reaching high. Reach the right hand down and the left hand up. Stay here or maybe bend the elbows and reach for your shirt, your shorts, or some sort of bind. You could always use a scarf or a strap in your practice. Switch sides. So this time the left hand comes down and the right hand reaches up. This can be enough of your twist. Or you can bend the elbows and reach for a bind. Maybe one side is easier than the other or tighter than the other. It's totally normal. And then come back to center, reset, press the palms, elbows to thighs, thighs to elbows. You can stay here for a little longer or I'll invite you to take an arm balance crow pose. We've been opening the hips a lot. Um, but I want to do it before our arms are more tired at the end of the practice. So we're going to kind of do it in the middle. So you'll spread the fingers wide about shoulder distance. You lift the heels and you just lean into it. Your core is working. You're squeezing the legs towards each other. You could put a pillow, a crash pad in front of you if you're nervous. You could also stand your feet on blocks so you're starting higher, but that might feel a little scary. You could just lift one toe for a couple moments and the other toe for a couple moments. Or if you find the balance, see if you can bring the toes, the feet closer to each other and start to straighten the arms. If you fall out, you have time to come back in. And play with the arm balance. And then when you're ready, we'll all come down to a seat. You could be a butterfly, you could be on your shins, you could cross the legs and roll the wrists around. Just make sure your spine is long. Don't want to compromise the spine. We're going to play an imaginary piano. You move your fingers, stretch them out. Shake out the wrists. And then press the left hand in front of you, fingers up. Use the right hand to kind of gently pull the fingers back. Keep pressing the heel of the hand away from you and keep lengthening the spine, but relaxing the shoulders. And then switch. So fingers down, palm towards you. Use the hand to kind of pull back. Shake out that hand and let's move to the other one. Press the palm away. Use the other hand to gently pull the fingers back. Shoulders down the back. And then flip the fingers to face down and pull back. Release, shake out the hands. 
come into your tabletop. Take a few rounds of cat, a few rounds of cow. And then when you're ready, step into downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg high and step into high lunge. Big step to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms lift. Maybe widen your stance. And then sweep the arms back like airplane arms. Keep the chest here and sweep the arms forward. Sweep the arms back and straighten the right leg. So you're in a variation of half split and a variation of pyramid here. If you want, you can bend the right knee and float into warrior three, or you can stay in that posture. We're gonna come into a one-legged mountain. If you're in warrior three, see if you can do so without letting the left foot drop. So arms will rise and left knee will lift. We're gonna open the left knee to the left, like we did from our tabletop. And then we're gonna step it all the way back into goddess. Wrap the right arm under the left. Give yourself a hug or eagle wrap the arms. Stay strong and stable through the feet as you take a big circle two times in one direction, keeping the eagle arms, grounding the heels, and then circle the other way twice. Come back to center, release the arms. Hands to the hips, string the legs, parallel the feet, and take a wide-legged forward fold. Hands could come to the mat, to the ankles, reach behind you, reach forward, grab opposite elbows or behind the nape of the neck. Five breaths in your wide-legged forward fold. Start to walk the hands under the chest, lift the heart halfway, and then bend into your left knee. We've been here before, bring the hands to the heart, pulse a little more to the left, so just bend a little deeper, a little pulse this to the left, and then star pose, inhale, straighten. Now you're going to bend the right knee, but this time, if you want, you can launch off into your balancing Star, landing soft. The next challenge is going to be one-legged mountain at the back of the mat with your left foot as the base this time. So the next time you float, maybe you can hold the right leg for a moment, lift it a little higher, pulse it a little higher, and then bring it up for one-legged mountain. Open up the right knee this time and find tree pose. If you haven't noticed, this is our balance series, balance sequence of the class. Hands can come to heart, cactus arms, reverse prayer. Press the thigh into the foot, foot into the thigh, or your leg could be on the calf or a kickstand up toes on the floor. Just standing tall, maybe playing with the balance by closing the eyes. The wobbling. And if you fall out, you have time to come back in. We have one more balancing posture in this sequence on this side. Reach the arms back up and then take them out wide like warrior two. Lift the right foot off the left leg and step into your balancing half moon or triangle pose. You could put your block under the right hand or a water bottle or a pillow to support you. 
You could stay in Trikonasana triangle with the left foot on the earth. Opening up the heart, stacking shoulders, maybe hovering the right fingers. And then you're going to slowly release the back foot, left foot down. Reverse triangle, right arm up, feel the right side body grow long. Bring the arms to a T. And then Trikonasana for the second time if you've already done it, or for the first time if you were in half moon. Roll the left shoulder back, opening the heart here. Just one full big breath, lengthening the limbs. And then step the left foot to the top of the mat and take a forward fold. Feet could go a little wider, as wide as the mat. Head heavy. Move the jaw, move the tongue, shake the head yes and no. Bring the feet back to parallel, about hip width distance. Bend the knees a lot and slide the hands under the feet for gorilla pose. So you're stepping on your feet. Toes are almost tickling the wrists. And these can stay bent or you could start to slightly straighten them as the head hangs heavy. One more big breath. Bend the knees enough to take the hands out and take a halfway lift. Plant the palms, step or hop back, your flow, or meet us in downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Here we go for the second side, left leg high. Step forward, high lunge. Left foot to the top of the mat, maybe widen the stance. Sweep the chest forward, arms back by the hips. Airplane, keep the chest, reach the arms forward. Sweep the arms back and choose if you wanna go into balancing warrior three, left ankle is working. You could stay in that half splits variation with the legs straight or that pyramid variation. If you're balancing, see if you can draw the right knee high. Everybody meet in one-legged mountain, right foot is the base, or left foot is the base, right knee is lifted. And then open the right foot out and step it all the way open for goddess. This time, left arm under the right. You can give yourself a big hug. Stay here or eagle wrap. And take it a couple times around in one direction. And then you pause and reverse twice in the other direction. Spread your feet wide to support your balance as you shift the weight. Open the arms back up, straighten the legs, star. Hands to the hips, parallel the feet. Option to take a wide-legged forward fold again or floor frog a little bit more for the hips. For floor frog, the knees come down. Make sure they're supported by your mat. Your knees are nice and wide. Your knees and your ankles are parallel and your two shins left and right are parallel with each other. You can stay lifted. You can move to the forearms or the forehead. And we'll stay for about five breaths here or you just stay in your wide-legged forward fold for five breaths.
One more big breath in. And then begin to use your palms to press yourself up or take a half lift. If you're in floor frog, take your time. Bring your knees, your hips a little closer together before you transition too much. And then we'll all meet in that wide-legged stance. Bend into your right knee. So the right knee, the back, the back of the mat is bending. Lift the hands, lift the heart, and just pulse a little deeper into that right side. Left leg is straight, pulsing into the right for four, three, two, one, star. And then the left knee is going to bend. That's your transition. Left knee bends. The right foot is going to hold the weight as you use your arms and fly. You could also just take the pulses on this side. If you want to take the balancing star, open the legs, open the arms, land softly. Just playing with that lightness, playing with getting air. A couple more times, then we're going to try to hold it for the transition. When you feel ready for the right ankle to do some work, you stay. Lift the left foot a little higher, maybe use the arms. Maybe the left leg can lift. And then one-legged mountain. Open the left knee wide. Tree pose, any variation. So it could come all the way to the earth or up to the thigh. Any arm variation, release the shoulders down the back. Turn to your breath. If your focus has drifted, just find the inhale, the exhale. If your balance has wobbled, find your drishti, your point of focus. Come back into it and then everybody take the arms wide like a warrior two. Lift the left foot off and then step it to the front of the mat for balancing half moon or triangle pose. Doesn't have to be the same as the first side. If you took triangle, you could take half moon. If you took half moon, you can take triangle. Rolling the right shoulder back, opening and spreading through the right hands and fingers. One more breath, maybe float the left fingers and then gently step the right foot back to land. Right hand down, right leg, left leg up for reverse triangle. Arms to a T, Trikonasana, reach forward and down, left hand down, left leg or to a block, roll the right shoulder back. Let the left ear release. One more breath here. Then on your exhale, cartwheel the hands down and step it back. Option to take a final vinyasa and meet in your one of your final downward facing dogs of this practice. Just notice how it feels. From down dog, shift forward to plank. Lift and hover the right foot and then bend the right foot, a uh, right knee, left heel rolls to the left, step the right foot back for a wild thing, variation of fallen triangle or fall, I mean, uh, fallen dog, and then come back to plank, you could take the knees down if you need, lift and hover the left foot, bend the left knee, start to spin the weight to the right heel, lift the left hand, step the left toes back for wild thing. And then come back to plank, hips high, slide the right shin forward, half pigeon. You can take pigeon on the back, figure four. 
lift the heart and move into sleeping pigeon by crawling your forearms down, lengthening the spine. Begin to press yourself up. Step back, shaking out the right leg. And then when you're ready, slide the left shin, left knee forward, second side. Lifting the heart and lengthening forward. Taking another big breath and then beginning to use your palms to press yourself up and just roll to the left hip and slide the right leg forward. Plant the feet and roll all the way down onto your back. Bring the feet as wide as the mat when you get there and just let the legs windshield wiper side to side, left and right. Releasing the back and the hips. You can stay for a couple breaths on one side if you want. And then stay for a couple breaths on the other side. And then let's begin to walk the feet again to about shoulder, uh, hip width distance apart, knees bent, soles of feet down, hands can raise the heels for bridge pose, press into the palms, roll the hips up, squeeze the thighs together, lift the hips. Maybe roll one shoulder and the other shoulder under, interlacing your hands, making a big fist. And then if your shoulders are interlaced like that, release them, release the hands. One vertebra at a time, as slowly as you can, tucking the tailbone, come back to the earth. Feet wide, knees together, or soles of feet together, knees wide. Bring your hand to the belly, your hand to the heart, and let the eyes close. Then gather the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. Rock the knees to the right, look to the left or close the eyes, turning your head away from the knees. And then switch sides, your final spinal twist. Knees left, head right. And 
And then slowly back to center. Squeeze everything in. Wrap your arms around your shins. Bring your forehead to your knees. Big inhale. And on your exhale, expand open to final resting pose. Shavasana. Feet wide, arms wide. Exhale to arrive here with the next several minutes of complete rest and integration of the practice. And I'll guide you out when it is time. Life has left her footprints on my forehead, but I have become a child again this morning. The smile, seen through the leaves and flowers, is back to smooth away the wrinkles as the rain wipes away footprints on the beach. Again, a cycle of birth and death begins. Teet Nhat Han. Taking some deeper breaths in and making the choice to Stay here for as long as you wish or begin to find some small movement from the fingers to the toes, maybe pulling the knees to the chest and giving yourself an embrace or taking a full body stretch again. And then 
then I invite you to just roll to the side and just pause in the fetal position. That pose of rebirth and take your time to use your hands to press yourself up to a comfortable seat to close the practice with a full breath together, sitting up tall and rolling the shoulders down the back. Exhale, any stale air out. Inhale fully and give it back. Thank you so much for moving and practicing with me. Have a great rest of your day and week.